What's going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation. And on this week's lesson, we check out Lateralis from Tool. So Lateralis is one of those epic album title tracks. It's got a lot of complicated rhythms going on. It's got hidden symbolism in it. Everybody loves it. But the most important thing is, it's a really fun song to play. It's a long one, so let's jump right into it, okay? We are in a drop D tuning, okay? The, if you want the transcription for this song, down in the description below, you can find the PDF and guitar profile. And while we're digging around down there, make sure you click on that subscribe button if you dig what we're doing here, because we do this weekly, okay? So, intro of the song. We need a couple of sounds for this song, okay? You need a clean for the intro and the breakdown, or a clean-er, very semi-dirty. If you want to roll with it that way, that's fine. You need a good heavy rhythm, and you need a lead sound with minimalistically a wah and delay. So that's what we're gonna work with, okay? So the song starts off with a clean intro. I'm just gonna roll back my guitar here. So we're, we're again, we're in the drop D, so we're gonna start, we're gonna play our low string, and then we're gonna skip our string to the fourth string. That's our little melody in the beginning. Okay, so it's low D, seven, five, seven on the fourth string, five, back down to seven, five on the G. And then, seven, five, seven, five, oh. Now this is swung, or it has a swing to it. So it has this eighth note feel knot, Right, and you can really hear it right there is where the swing is. It's not, okay? and then basically an octave shape if you're in standard tuning, but we're not, so it's a second. Five and seven, skip a string. I like to grab that note with my pinky, this way I can reach down three. And that is our intro riff. It's gonna lead us right into our main riff. Okay, so now, well, we're gonna talk about the riff, but I wanna just mention the rhythm a little bit, the counting. When you put this section on, it actually moves, right? It's actually a measure of nine eighths, eight eight, and seven eight. So you have a moving meter, so it's nine, eight, seven. So when you listen to the song, don't try to count that when you figure out this riff. Just for fun, put on the song and listen to that and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Right? See if you can follow along with that, it's fun. So the way we work, we're gonna play our a D5 open power chord. Okay, now on the second two hits, you can expand the chord. Get that second fret on the G string. Nice fuller chord. And there is a dead note there. So it's five, five, five. Okay, so the first measure. There's our second measure. time slow and then we'll move on right when you get that 
three, five, ten, twelve. Very Adam Jones, very pentatonic, very tool sounding. Okay, so you're gonna do that three times, the third time, and just a little ending there. It's just three, five, three, oh, oh. And I would hammer and pull it, slur all of that. Which leads right into the verse. It's just the, the, the rest of the band, vocals kick in, that's gonna go around, and then you have this kind of slow build up with the guitar back to the chorus again. And it starts with this part. between open three and five. That's the next part, that's what it transitions into. It's the same riff, but you're adding 7530 to it. you get into that first chorus. So you're gonna go back into the chorus, right? So you're just chugging on the five. Single note, muted power chord, open power chord. And since we're talking about that, on the second repeat, because we're gonna do everything we just did again. On the second repeat, you take one of those out. So it's so it's a kind of two chugs instead of one chug, okay? That's the difference on the second time around, so keep that in mind, okay? And that's gonna bring us to the chorus, which is just the, the nine, eight, seven riff we did from the, in, the intro of the song. You're gonna do it three times, and then you're just gonna add to extended power chords to these chord hits, right? We've been just playing these these low string power chords. Now we can kind of add in the fuller extended power chords. So what's gonna happen is that's gonna be the first time in the song, the chorus is three times, the extended chords are on that third time. Everything you just did except the intro is going to repeat, I'm not gonna go over it again. This chorus comes around, which we just did, and you're gonna do it two times and the extended chords are on the second time. Okay, and that's gonna lead us into the first guitar solo. So the first solo is gonna be up in off the fourth string, our D string. Okay, that's where we're gonna start, right on that D string, and it's gonna be O, 10, pull off to open 12. seven times before you move into the actual solo itself. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you have a little slur on the G string, nine, ten, nine, open. Seven on the D, repeat. Slide down to three. Same, same slur. Ten, nine, ten, seven, twelve. So it's 0, 10, 12, 0, 10, 12, 0, 10, 12. Into that, and that leads us right into the breakdown. Tool being a master of dynamics, they bring us way up here, and then they're gonna drop us down to the bottom again and build it back up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the intro riff and build it from reverse. And what that means is we're gonna start with the, the 5, 7, 3, 7. And 
instead of playing the entire melody from the beginning, we're only gonna play that first note, and then we're gonna slowly build upon that. Right? Notice when I played that note, give it a little half bend. Second time around, build it more. Again, build it more. The drums kick in, and you know they're laying over a very complicated polyrhythm. You just play the intro riff for you to. And then you're gonna start moving in the power chords like this. So it's five, seven, three, seven. sure what he's doing there but uh, it's the end of a solo and it doesn't really matter um, I like to do that or some variation of that coming out of it so for this part we have this epic build up we're just a super simple guitar wise we're just playing this D5 chord 0002 And then the vocals come in with my feet and boom. And so you just stay on that chord. And then eventually the vocals are gonna change. Listen to it, you'll hear it, and he starts going. It moves up into the. So it's 12, 10, 12, 15. And here we have our full power chords. 12, 12, 12, 14, 15, right? That's that chord. It's a movable chord, no open strings. So you just reverse those two notes. You go up the 15 and then come down the 15. And then you have that riff, and it's O, three, O. Dead notes, and then O and three. And that's the next part. 17, 15, 17 on the low string, 15 on the back to the A string. Very tool when you play like that. 
We're gonna do a little bend on that first note, but we're gonna do pinch harmonics. Big epic outro. Right, so after you play these. Open D. 10, 12, 10 on the A. the epic that is Lateralis. Awesome song, really fun to play, a lot of dynamics, right? Fun guitar solos, noisy guitar solos. Okay, you need a couple different sounds. So, like I said earlier, if you want a transcription of the song, you can find that in the description below, both PDF and guitar profiles. And if you dig what we do here, please click that subscribe button because we do it weekly. And as always, let me know what you come up with. So until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.